And guys, we, we the channel has been kicked off the YouTube partner program. I shouldn't be admitting this, but saving children, right? That was great. But saving you guys is better. Yeah, man, this is tough, bro. At the moment, we are currently on tour, so that's why we're in the setup. It looks a little bit different. We're sitting. We weren't gonna do any videos while we was out here, but <laughs> what happened? Some things happened. Cause, cause this motherfucker told me that this should happen, and then mm. I was like, okay, what? what? While, while we were out here taking dubs on tour, you know, doing some of our first live shows, let me just say, meeting you guys in person has been amazing. Great. Um, some big news just dropped. YouTube made some decisions. No. <laughs> Let's go. Ready? Here we go. Three. No. Two. No. And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast, man. We got a very important announcement for you guys. Let's get into the show. Let's go. This might be one of the last times you guys hear this intro. <laughs> no. no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You guys can hear this intro as often as you want if you go to Rumble. <laughs> no way. All right, and we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh and Fit Podcast, man. Um, as you guys know, we had a show scheduled earlier with um, Psych with Psych Hacks, but we had to uh, cancel because we got some really, uh, you know, sucky news. Um, crazy news. Yeah, crazy news, real talk. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Rumble. Um, and guys, I mean... <sighs> Is this the end, bro? Because uh, we got some bad news, man. Uh, I mean, when I heard, I was, I was shocked because, I mean... We love YouTube, man. Yeah. We love streaming. Yeah. And um, at this point, I feel like our whole lives are revolved around streaming and like yeah, adding value to, to you know people online. It's just like it won't be the same, bro. Yeah. Um, we heard. In twenty twenty, guys, uh, as you guys know, um, yeah, I was working for the government, right? I was a special agent, homeland security. He worked for fuck it, Wix. We'll just call it. Yeah. Right. Um, Wix.com. Yeah. All right. So this is their like little sob moment where they relive the ta tales of the good days, you know. So I'm just gonna put 1.5 because I don't give a fuck. And uh, you know, he was a tech support. I was arresting bad guys, etc. We started this podcast. We did our first episode on October 26th, 2020. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, Chris was there. The apartment was all empty and shit. You guys remember the days before we started just making a podcast where we shit on women every day? You remember the days? <laughs> We used to work at Wix and you were a loser. And then I used to put out like illegal immigrants behind bars. And then we got together and we're just like, yo, these fucking whores. And we made millions. Man, the good old days. Dumb whores. <laughs> You're whack. November, like, 14th. Internal Affairs. Hey, we need you to come in for an interview. And I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Right? And I'm working at the government, sitting at my desk. Writing up a report, and I see this email. Yeah. And this is 2020 November. And I, uh, you know, <clears throat> I go, uh, you know, I let my supervisor know, hey, I got to go up to, you know, the internal affairs office, right? Because it's not at the same building as us. And, you know, I go over there and they and they take my phone. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, what's going on here? And then, you know, and then they're like, they didn't want to tell me, but they're like, uh, you know, hey, you know, we're it's part of an internal investigation. Next day, I meet up with the, you know, the special agent in charge. And they tell me, hey, it has to do with your YouTube. And right there, I clicked. I was like, wait, wait, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you probably can't work for the FBI and also be like, yo, these fucking whores, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably not. Just, yeah, the FBI is probably going to frown on that. Yeah. <laughs> The FBI is probably going to have a problem with that. Homeland Security is probably not wanting some dude to just be like, hey, yo. These whores deserve less. <laughs> I like that this even needed a conversation. Like, even working as a government clerk, you probably can't have a YouTube channel doing this no. shit. No. But anyways. 
probably think that I'm recording videos on my phone. <laughs> like that's what's what it is, which it was a fucking like iPhone six or seven, it was a piece of shit. Uh and um <clears throat> and uh what ended up happening is I had to make a really tough decision that month. I remember going back and forth, trying to negotiate, trying to figure out what we're gonna do. And uh, you know, they're like, no, like you have to pick one. You have to either you're gonna be a YouTuber or you can be a special agent homeland, but you're not gonna do both. And I had to make that decision. I remember you were there, yeah. we had Andrew here, and I was like, well. We got people working for us now. There's people that depend on us. You had to pretty much quit your gig. So I was like, all right, I'm going to resign. And I walked in December 5th, turned in all my stuff. And uh, yeah, I walked away from the, from the U.S. government. It was a, it was a good, you know, a six figure job. Uh, it was stable. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. You guys know on my Fed Reacts, you guys see how I talk when I'm, when I'm uh, talking on that channel. And uh, yeah, and, and I haven't, I say, I tell you guys that story to tell you that I haven't felt like that since today. And um, it sucks, guys. It really does suck. Um, you know, fortunately, we you know we made some moves, etc. You know, and we kind of saw knew that the type of content that we make for us to be able to give you this content, we have to it comes at a cost. It comes at a cost, dude. and it will be here forever. Yeah, and, and, and you know, know Fresh always it. said this. You know, enjoy us while you can. Yeah, uh, they thought we was capping, man. Yeah, they thought it was a joke. And and you know, we did. We made moves on the side, knowing that this could potentially happen. And guys, we, we the channel has been kicked off the YouTube Partner Program. Just keep it straight. If with you look right now, you can't even super chat or you can't even super chat right now. Yeah. Okay, they're just off the partner program. That's ninety five percent of their revenue. Yes. So it's not just <laughs> they make their money. Listen, for all the shit I talk, they are top three in terms of how much money people donate. The yeah. amount of dudes who want to be like, yeah, you know, they have the panel with the women and the yeah. dudes donate a hundred dollars to be yeah. like, that, tell that dumb whore with the blonde wig. That her daddy doesn't love her. Like, there's dudes who paying that every day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, fault like they were top of the line. That's how they made their money. Yeah, they're the only fans of YouTube. Sure. Yep. yep. Uh, so this is the beginning of the end of this era. So we are in chat. So yeah. 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 So you, you literally can't. Yeah, man. So it's uh. So basically, we're <laughs> we're gonna figure out what it, what's going on because we don't even really know all the details. Um, we're working with YouTube to try to come to a middle ground and you know work together and figure this out. But for now. We don't Obviously, even know why. We yeah, we yeah. don't know the specific reason. Um Asagini, but, but we don't in any form or fashion Chris. hate YouTube or wanna go at them. We're just saying, you know what, we wish we knew the reason why, but we respect, you know, for them letting like, use, use the platform and keeping us here for a while and like yeah, you know, we appreciate it. Yeah. But and, um, and, and the thing is is that you guys know, right, on this uh pod, we push the edge, right? We put we push the envelope where there's no we're not gonna lie about that. Like we give you guys the real deal when it comes to getting in shape, when it comes to money, girls, money, dating, dating. improving yourself, etc. And unfortunately, to be able to give people real advice that they can take in real life and apply to the real world, you have to have uncomfortable conversations about uncomfortable topics in uncomfortable times. Oh, yeah. I said it when they did the whole monkey thing. Yeah. I didn't realize that when Fresh and Fit put out that live stream and said they were going to nuke our channel, they just ended up nuking their own. So, you know, if you're proud of this, congratulations, brother. You played yourself. I don't think there's much to be said. I wouldn't be surprised if the YouTube channel gets deleted. Fresh, my man's 20 by today's sponsor, TH Henley, is coming in to save the day. I get compliments on my skin all the time. People be asking, what's your skincare routine? How do you get your skin? And for a lot of fellas, talking about skincare is a little bit awkward because either we're too ashamed to do it or it seems a little bit too feminine. But the truth is having rough skin or having all these little dents everywhere isn't something that you necessarily want, especially if it's things that you can easily avoid through very, very good products. I recommend going through that process. And that's where Tiege Henley comes in. They got a great system in place where you can use their products to achieve your skincare goals. I personally recommend that you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash, which gets rid of all the dirt and grime on your face. They got a two times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of all the dead skin cells. And an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because we all need to make sure that our skin is protected from the sun. And the cool thing about TH Henley is all their boxes come with instructions. In addition to amazing skin, members of TH Henley get tons of benefits like at least 20% off retail price, the ability to pause or cancel at any time, as well as free US shipping. And because TH Henley is sponsoring today's video, if you go to the link in the description below, not only will you get all the benefits that I just listed, but you'll also get a free gift with your purchase. Don't wait, rub out that face so you can actually start looking fresh. I said it to Sneeko when he did the whole fucking him simulating graping a girl. Yeah. Another YouTuber. It, it was it was and, about and, the time. And this is why I didn't even want to go back and forth with Ethan Klein. 
It's like when you bring up certain drama, it brings bad press. People start writing articles, okay? And YouTube just doesn't like that. They don't want bad press. So even though these guys were bringing in so much money to YouTube and their income, they weren't worth the negative cost that they potentially would bring with a bad press story. And that's what these guys are. They're, they're, they're a bad news story waiting to happen. The New York Times will probably write something someday about misogyny being rampant on YouTube or racism or whatever it is being rampant on YouTube. And they're going to play clips of these guys doing monkey noises and calling people all kinds of things, right? Or doing the KK, you know, putting on the white hood, right? They're going to play those clips. YouTube doesn't need that kind of bad advertising. You want to be able to be free to do whatever you want. YouTube says, sure, but we're not going to make you part of the partner program. We're not going to allow you to make money off this site because we don't want to be associated with your brand. So they're sitting here now like they don't get it. But like all these conspiracy theories that they've been bringing on the platform, all the dumb shit that they've done. You know, they want to sit here and cry about it now. But I already said you were willing to throw away your platform to do the dumbest, unfunniest jokes possible. The dumbest minstrel show. So it's easy to sit here and be like, oh. This is so devastating, but you weren't really thinking about your platform or maintaining your shit when you were doing that dumb stuff. You know, it's easy to say, oh, I care about my girl. I can't believe she left me. You were cheating on her for five years. You cheated on her with her sister. You were doing flagrant dumb shit, and then you want to cry afterwards about how much you cared. It's kind of hard for me to take it seriously. I don't want nobody to lose their stuff, but it wasn't surprising to me the same way it's not surprising when the other guy loses. You called it. I told Preach in private. I said they're probably gonna lose their shit over this. And, and I it, was and I was the one to say and I was the one to say I was not believing in that. Because I to be honest with you, sometimes when th stuff like that had, happens, I really don't believe in the system. I don't believe in the things that are in place and some, sometimes I'm like experience that I had in life of like I don't believe in I don't believe in what they say when I mean they I'm talking about uh, the system in place and their rules right I feel like like sometimes it's not fair and I was like maybe not maybe, probably not and then it just takes time I guess yeah. it just takes a whole lot of time for them to sit down and be like you know what let's just review this yeah. the well, funny the the same way that it took time for Tate. Hmm. Like they need to rally everything up and watch and uh, and, and, and put it like a, a file together mm -hmm. to just justify this. That's the same thing that happened there. Yeah. This stuff could even happen to me and preach someday. It, it could. You know, that's why you don't celebrate this kind of stuff. No. Because, you know, we have takes that are probably not the most popular when it comes to trans women, nope. sports or whatever it is. And, you know, I've always accepted that I'm probably going to lose this platform someday. So when that happens, I'll be okay with it. I'll be at peace. It'll suck, but like it is what it is. Um, you know, I'm not married to this thing. I understand it, but I also try to take steps to be smart about what battles I choose. Not every battle's worth fighting. When a dude's putting on a monkey suit or putting on a, a, a hand a clan hood, like I'm not, I'm not trying to be on that level of dumbness, right? And you're gonna be able to say that, oh well, you know what? That when they did that, they were not, they were not on, they were not on YouTube. Still linked. <laughs> Like I said, they don't like the press. If they, they say like the YouTuber press. is out here wearing the hood, making it doesn't matter whether it, it was matter. on or off the platform, it looks bad for the, the platform. It looks bad for their business, and that's what it is. YouTube is a business at the end of the day. Guys, it's about to be an election year. You know what I mean? We're talking about certain points, and we've brought up certain points that might not be politically correct, right? That might not necessarily align with everyone's viewpoints, right? And we've worked really hard to bring people on that have different viewpoints, right? Some of them very controversial. Some of them that may or may not be um, politically correct. And that's unfortunately the risk that you take when you make the kind of content that we do. Even other platforms, look at Rumble. They're taking a huge beating on the stock market. Yeah. I mean, they're up. Despite having one of the best years for um, revenue. revenue and for views and everything. And um, so this comes at a cost, no matter who you are company, yeah. individual, creator. Yep. And a lot of you guys want to be aspiring RB creators as well. And I respect that. But just know at a certain level, it will cost you a price you got to pay. And uh, I think me and Myron understand this. And we were saying, you know what? At some point, we're going to have to deal with this price. And today's the day. Yeah. 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 And, and my thing is, guys, um, more than ever, <laughs> real talk, more than ever. I know a lot of you guys send me messages. And I, trust me, I look at them. I really do look at them. And as a matter of fact, I save them too. Because I sent some of them to Fresh today. Yeah. When you guys send me your DMs and say, yo, you saved my life. Yo, you sent me a picture of your credit score. Yo, my girl is making sandwiches now or whatever it is, right? <laughs> Yeah, don't kill me, bro.
Don't kill me, bro. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, you do, I'm, 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 I'm mad that you ban these niggas, bro. We need more women making sandwiches, bro. Yo, we need more sandwiches in our life. I can't believe. <laughs> you imagine this fucking dweeb on a date? Yo, what you used to do? I used to be a federal agent. What do you do now? Man, I help men get their women to make fucking sandwiches, whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he didn't say it. He said that. Guys, we're getting attacked on all angles. I've been yeah. like, whether it's the press writing articles on us, videos getting taken down that other channels are not getting taken down and it's the same exact content or whatever it may be. Rumble getting hit, right, for free speech. Uh, video, like, just get strikes, whatever it may be. Guys, it's gotten to the point now where even where we shoot the location doesn't want us to stay here. Yeah. Right? But, dude, there is, like, there is a matrix, man. Like, that's, that's, what, I'm, that, that's what I just said to bro, you. Yo, these guys are such cornballs. All these matrix-loving losers, like, they never address all the lies they tell. They never address all the, the fucking factual evidence that they love to provide, the fucking bro signs that they believe in. They just blame the matrix. It's crazy how they say women are allergic to accountability, but these motherfuckers mm -hmm. run to the matrix when it comes to accountability. I mean, I mean, we've talked about this with Andrew at length. Like, people don't want you guys to get this message, dude. Even Rumble's under attack, too. Bro, for everybody. Yeah. They're, they're trying, they're trying to shut Rumble down. I, like, I think at some point there was free speech where it was like, okay, you know what? Yeah. Say what you got to say. We won't crucify you. But nowadays, free speech is kind of like, is it even a thing? I mean, not really. Stop bringing up free speech. Like It's not about free speech. You have the right to say it. That's why you weren't banned from the platform entirely. They're just saying you're not going to make money from us, which is entirely acceptable. Like, you guys are demanding that YouTube pay you, that YouTube employ you. Why would... Imagine if I came to your job and I said you had to employ me. Under what circumstance do I have the responsibility to continue paying you when you're doing stuff that's detrimental to my business? That's not free speech. You want a fucking handout. You want them to just give you stuff because you feel you're entitled. They want to end out like those girls that want to be paid for yeah. whatever. I think it's fair to say to YouTube, if you guys are going to terminate this, you should be able to tell us why. But it's not act like your fucking dossier is free of issues. Let's not act like YouTube hasn't spoken to you numerous times about the DMCA strikes, about the other things that y'all been doing or the strikes that you guys have been given or the warnings that you've received. Y'all acting like y'all got fired out of nowhere. Bruv, we've all seen you get called into the office a few times. Stop. I'm not going to watch any more of this because uh, I think it's pathetic watching grown men refuse to take any accountability for any of the situations they're in. Mm. I think them going to Rumble is going to be a big L as it has been for pretty much every creator who's transferred over there. Um, but hopefully if they're able to make good short form content on YouTube or on TikTok and that gets them more viewership, then I think their stuff will keep growing. But... Um, if they don't do that, then I think over time, their viewership numbers are going to tweeter out as they become less relevant. Uh, but it'll probably take a couple years. Anything else you want to say? No. You were right. Yeah. I got nothing else to say, but you were right. <laughs> you know, you know, when it comes to this shit, you know your shit. Hey, bro, I just tell you, man, when I see people make bad moves, I, like as a business owner, I'm like, I can see why your business is I, about to I didn't think I didn't think it would happen. I know. I'll tell you, YouTube is serious about their business. I also say this. Y'all said y'all were going to end our careers. That's that's weird. That's where did that happen? That. Yeah, I was thinking. Y'all said, I mean, I did a whole live stream saying you were going to end our careers. They also said that it would lap us. But. Ah. And All right, listen. It's good luck. God, I'm gonna need it. Godspeed. And if worse comes to worse, you can stop helping dudes make their girlfriends make sandwiches and go back to being a fed. And fresh, you can go back to bagging groceries and sleeping with sugar babies. Anything else? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I said I was gonna take the high road, but no, fuck these no, niggas. Was a little bit of a low road there. Fuck these. When, when karma happens, the same way that a woman talks shit and be like, what you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? And then and then pushes the motherfucker. Uh -huh. And just push the person and push the person. And what you going to do? And goes the extreme thing and just push his head and gets decked. I'm like, karma. 
Yeah. I'm not for it. But karma, what happened should have happened. What should have happened happened, and it is what it is. Yeah. That being said, <laughs> coconuts and Barbados. <laughs> Coconuts and Barbados. You foul. Yo, listen, I'm about to hit up H3H3. I'm like, yo, listen, my enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yo, me and H3H3 about to do a live stream, bro. Yo, yo, let me message them real quick. Actually, I'm going to DM H3H3 